In this lesson, I'll show you how to apply the linear factorization theorem. The theorem states that a polynomial function will have the same number of factors as its highest degree, and that each factor will be in the form x minus c, where c is a complex number a plus bi. Therefore, we can use the theorem to find a polynomial function with given zeros. The question reads, find a third degree polynomial function f at x with real coefficients that has minus three in the imaginary unit i as zeros and f at one is equal to eight. To do this question effectively, you need to know the following two things. According to the theorem, an nth degree polynomial can be expressed as a product of a non-zero constant and n linear factors, where each linear factor has a leading coefficient of one. In addition, according to the properties of roots, imaginary roots, if they exist, occur in conjugate pairs. They tell us in the question that there is an imaginary unit i as one of the roots. Therefore, we'll start off by writing out f at x is equal to our leading coefficient, which I'll represent as a sub n. And our first factor, they tell us that it has a root at negative three. So we write down x plus three x plus i, and given that imaginary roots, if they exist, occur in conjugate pairs, we'll also have x minus i. Before we move on, notice that here we have three factors, and that's because it's a third degree function. If it were a fourth degree, you would see four terms, and so on. And this three i and negative i represent c1, c2, and c3. The next step is to expand what we see on the right side, and at this time you can also substitute 8 into f at x and 1 into the x's. Let's go ahead and do that. We have 8 is equal to a to the power of n, 1 plus 3 is 4, 1 plus i, and 1 minus i. I'll multiply these two first. I get 1 plus negative i and positive i minus i to the power of 2. i to the power of 2 is equal to the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1. Multiplying these two out, you should end up with negative 1. So this becomes negative times negative 1, and that's equal to positive 1. These two cancel out. We have 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. 2 times 4 is 8, so we have 8 times a sub n is equal to 8. Therefore, a sub n is equal to 1. Let's write our function down. Our function is f at x is equal to this substituted with 1, x plus 3, x plus i, and x minus i. As a final touch, I'll expand all of this out and if you expand it correctly, you should end up with the following expression. x to the power of 3 plus 3x squared plus x plus 3. And there you have it. That is how to apply the linear factorization theorem.